What's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to fix Wi-Fi connected but no internet on your phone. Now, over here I have my Redmi phone but it doesn't matter the type of phone you're using whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone. Following similar steps, you should be able to fix the issue of Wi-Fi connected but no internet on any type or brand of phone you have. Now quickly, I'll be taking you through three solutions that you can just try on your phone and trust me, either one of them is definitely going to work out for you. Now the first and most common issue that causes the problem of Wi-Fi connected but no internet access on any phone is the wrong date and time settings of the phone. So basically, you want to go ahead and make sure that the date and time of your phone is actually correct and it corresponds with the date and time on your router. To do this, you want to just head over to the settings of your phone. So go ahead and open up the settings of any phone you have and then you just want to go ahead and locate the date and time settings in my case once you scroll over to the additional settings over here click on it you can literally find the date and time settings over here now what you just want to do is to go ahead and select it just like so and then make sure that automatic date and time is turned on so just make sure that everything automatic over here and even your time zone is set automatically what this will do is that it will use the same date and time that is provided for your router and also make sure that the date and time of your phone is correct once you're done with this you want to go back to your wi-fi settings so scroll down and then just long press on your wi-fi to open up the wi-fi go ahead and turn off your wi-fi just like so and then turn it on one more time now you can now proceed to connect to your router or your wi-fi in my case i'll just select my other phone source port over here just like so and trust me, after connecting to your Wi-Fi or your router this time, you should be able to access the internet on any phone you have without any issue. But if this first solution does not work out for you, another way you can actually fix the issue of Wi-Fi connected but no internet on any phone you have is to basically just go ahead and forget your Wi-Fi or your hotspot network from your phone. And to do this, you want to head over to the Wi-Fi settings of your phone one more time. So you can just scroll over to the Wi-Fi settings and then just long press on it or just go over to the settings and then under the Wi-Fi settings over here, what you just want to do is to go ahead and select your Wi-Fi network. And then you just want to scroll downwards and then click on forget network over here. Click on OK. The whole process might be a little bit different for different devices. But trust me, what you just want to do is to look for a way to forget the Wi-Fi network. Once you're done, you want to go ahead and restart your phone. So just press and hold your power button of your phone. And then you just want to go ahead and select the restart or the reboot option. And once the rebooting process is completed, what you want to make sure you do is to go ahead and just ensure that there is actually internet access on your router. You can do this by connecting other devices to your router and then just see if there is actually internet so that you're sure that the problem is not from your router or your Wi-Fi network. Once you're sure that there is actually internet access on your router, then you can proceed to connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi or router. And trust me, this time you should be able to access the internet on your phone without any issue. But if this solution does still not work out for you, my final tip to fix the issue of Wi-Fi connected but no internet on your phone is to simply just go ahead and update the system software of your phone. Sometimes this might actually be the issue. So you basically just want to head over to the settings and the process might differ depending on the type of phone you're using. But basically you just want to go ahead and look for the about phone option. And once you scroll down over here, if there is any update that has not been done to your phone, you're literally going to see it over here and you can just update the phone. Mine currently is up to date and that is why it works perfectly well. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.